minor, and then you'll use these chords to create a chord progression that weaves through multiple keys. Boom. Right? And he did you awesome totally with did it. it. Yeah. I did. <laughs> pretty, pretty much just that. Yeah. And you know, there's, there's another assignment called Beatles form, and I think that this would have fit that, so you could actually say it's more than half of them, because the structure of this one fits that. So, do you have recollections of writing this song? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I remember being really turned on because I'm a chord guy and a chord movement nerd. And this one, I was like, oh, man, I can't really get into this. And then the chords seemed crazy, and yeah. you also told us to write melodies based on, like, sing the third of the chord that you're playing. And I was like, oh, that snaps it together and makes it feel like a song. Come on. Awesome. Do you and write like this normally, where you sort of give yourself kind of chord-like assignments, or is this something that's sort of out of your element? So I'm, I go chords first. I'm always struggling to yeah. take a different approach, but I'm a chords first kind of guy, and sometimes it's poking and hoping, and sometimes it's a formulated thing like this. So sometimes you're consciously thinking, okay, I'm going to go out of the key and see, I'm just going to sort of mess it up and mess around and see what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm always looking for that one weird chord. Yeah. Yeah, and the weird chord, right? Yeah, you find it or you don't. Yeah. But. I live for the weird chord. Yeah. All right then. Sure. This is called In My Dream. Yeah. What were you going to say? One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somewhere there she is over there in the dark. Um, next up, ooh.